Hey everyone, is a quick tutorial and very easy to make cute bowls. For this tutorial, you're going to need your fabric, tape measure, scissors, needle and thread, um, fabric glue, or you can use hot glue gun. So let's get into our tutorial. So for our fabric, we need a 20 inch by six inch fabric and then a smaller fabric measuring four inch by two inches. Okay. The 20 inch by 6 inch, we're going to take that and fold it lengthwise, like so, right sides facing each other. And what we're going to do is fold the edge. Watch what I'm doing. Fold it like you're folding a right angle triangle. Just, just to, we're just going to make a crease and draw a line. Or you could measure two and a half inches inwards like that and connect do a diagonal line from your marking to the edge of the fabric like so so you could do it either way it's up to you we're just going to do it for the other side as well we're going to sew like that leave a two inch gap in the middle and then continue sewing and sew along the line like that and there we have it we've done our sewing we're just going to trim off remember the diagonal edge we're going to trim that excess fabric off so that gives it that cute um pointy bit at the end of the bow and we're just going to turn our fabric right side out um for this tutorial if you don't have a sewing machine you can actually use a glue to do it just fold the edges in and just glue it i think you can glue it i'm just using my scissors to poke out the corners but make be careful when you're using your scissors to do this trimming off excess fabric i'm just going to tuck the raw edge the raw edges in like that and i'm going to use my hot glue gun to just stick that bit together if it is up to you i've ironed my fabric flat please make sure you iron your fabric so it looks nice and neat and then i'm just applying my hot glue gun to the opening bit you could use a blind stitch and as you can see i've laid out my fabric you can see where the top the shorter part is at the top and the longer part is at the bottom i would i would don't know how to explain this but just watch what i'm doing fold it and measure once you get to about five to five and a half inches then it's fine just fold it crisscross like that and then turn it and it looks something like this once you turn it now we're going to need our needle and thread and for our needle and thread, we're going to use that to make a gather, to gather the bow. But I'm just, I'm folding it just to find my, the mid part of, middle part of the bow. That's why I'm folding it in half. And I'm just going to go in with a gathered stitch, just in, out, in, out, all the way to the bottom. Trust me, this is so easy to make and they're very cute. As you can see, I'm going in and out all the way to the bottom. Make sure your thread is tied. You've knotted your thread. Make sure you knot your thread. And there you have it. I'm just going to pull that like so. Don't do it too tight so that the bow can still stick out nicely and i'm just securing the thread to the bottom fabric as you can see i'm not sewing it all the way through i'm just sewing it through the bottom fabric like that and what you could do is just use that same thread to just wrap around um, the middle of the bow instead of getting another um, thread to do it you'll see what I mean in a minute you could have just got I could have just I got another thread I made it a bit thicker and I went wrapped it around the fabric 
you could also just use the same thread on your knee you just wrap it around and tie tie it and we're nearly there guys our boy is looking cute already and i like this uh print it's really cute it's, this is ankara fabric by the way and just trim off your excess thread and now we're going to cover up that middle part so the four uh, four by two so what you're doing is fold one edge that's four by two inches fold one edge and fold the other edge in we don't need to sew it and then what we're going to do is uh, you can see where that bow where the where that one opens up that will be the back i'm just going to apply a bit of glue, hot glue gun I mean hot glue <laughs> hot glue gun and then stick it to the back like that just make sure you apply it enough so that your fabric lays flat like that and then we're going to go around from the bottom up can you see that's the raw edge so that's how we're going to cover that bit go around that will be the front we're just going to take the strip all the way to the back trim off any excess fold the raw edge because we're going to have a raw edge there just fold it back a bit you can glue it just to fold it i'm applying a bit of hot glue so i can fold it so it can stay down even though i've used all my finger to remove all the glue <laughs> but you get the gist just fold the raw edge glue it down like so so it's nice and neat at the back and that's our bow done pretty much just glue it down um for my bow i applied a clip um at the back but i didn't i'll show i'll show you show you that in a minute but if you don't have a clip you can have a use a safety pin you can use it as a brooch as you can see the clip there what i should have done is applied the clip before i glued everything down so i'm just gonna apply the apply a bit of glue at the back just to stick the clip to the bow so you can use it for your hair but if you want to use it as a brooch you don't need to just um use a safety pin and there you have it so i'm just going to show you again if you want to apply a clip so i've already attached one part of the fabric now i'm going to attach the clip first before i wrap the fabric around so just holding in place so it can dry can you see it's nice and steady and we're just going to go round with our strip of fabric as we did before but now the clip is in place and what you're going to do is open the clip i'm just trimming off excess fabric like so and what you're going to do is open the clip so the strip of fabric can pass through like that oops we're out of shot <laughs> but i've just passed the fabric through the clip as you can see there so we're just going to fold the raw edge again and glue it down just make sure it's nice and snug but you're not over squashing your bow okay i'm just applying a bit of glue like we did before i'm just going to fold it and then glue it down and that's it really for this tutorial guys i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've learned something and let me know if you'll be making any for yourself or your children or any family members <laughs> or friends. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe, support your girl. I'm still new to this, so do bear with me. I'm trying to get my camera angle right and everything. I'm still trying, working on that. But I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I just thought I'd make a nice and simple one. If you're not really, if you're really new to sewing, I think this will be perfect for you. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, 
share and subscribe take care